This is the YC9 from High Point, also known as a Yeet Cannon G1. Let me give you some background on this. So High Point thought it was a great idea to get interactive with their users and have the name be voted for via, you know, online of their newest, uh, I guess they would call this a more robust, uh, more Glock style, I don't know. They were trying to make something different out of their C9. Anyway, so they went to the internet was a horrible idea, but it made this gun actually kind of uh, uh, just in satire and in, in comedy usage um, uh, uh, valuable, I guess. So they went ahead, went through a couple different names, and one of the names that prevailed was the Yeet Cannon. Um, so we went ahead, we're, we're going to shoot this. I'm going to show you some footage of us shooting this, um, and then we'll get back to my final review and really overall if this is something you should buy or or if it's just something you should hang on your wall but we'll go ahead we'll get out there and we'll shoot and then we'll get back here and we'll talk about it some more if you don't have a friend that will buy the same shitty gun as you for pure satire enjoyment go ahead and hit that subscribe button so uh i've got probably the worst gun ever produced and not just produced because it was one just a, a bad gun in general uh, it's cheap, it's heavy, it's everything you don't want. But they had a uh, high point, took their C9 and said, Interwebs, give me a name. And the Interwebs responded, and the Yeet Cannon G, uh, uh, G1 was born. And uh, <laughs> we'll be shooting this today. This is uh, this right here, if you want to take a look at it, is the Yeet Cannon. This is the C9 model, which is just a robust wannabe Glock version from High Point. We noticed, if you want to come on out, we noticed right off the bat that this thing is heavy. When I mean heavy, I mean, I mean, this thing is stupid heavy. And I don't know if you can, I don't even know what those jingles are, but I guess it's part of the spice. Uh, I didn't even take the sticker off. Because when we started peeling the sticker off uh, on yours as well, it it, uh, it just is it's garbage. It doesn't want to come off. It's uh. Well, it hurts the value if you take it off. Yeah, it does hurt the value. These are these are kind of collectors in a way. Um, so if you have a collection for hundred and fifty dollars, why the hell not? Um, so let's go ahead. We'll try to get it to shoot. I am not a fan of High Point. It does have a safety, so that's cool but the safety just feels like absolute garbage. I feel like this gun is half 3D printed, half made out of like lead. So let's go ahead and... I'm already jammed. I'm on the trigger. So let's release and try it again. Nope. I'm jammed, so that's cool. I'm still jammed. Live round. So I want to see if we go ahead. So I couldn't even get through the first eight rounds. It was two, what, three rounds? That's actually both of us on both of our cannons. We both yeah. third round. All right, let's try this again. Number three. Ah oh, man, that trigger is so fucking garbage. Holy shit. Oh, we, it's stuck. So we have a big malfunction. It is physically stuck in the chamber. And you can see it right there. So we'll go ahead, we'll take this out. But you know what's great about it? We have more. I got another one. Hold on, wait, I'll just grab it. Because if you buy a Yeet Cannon, you can't just... Magazine, it only comes with one. If you buy a Yeet Cannon, they're so cheap, just buy two. Just in case that happens, you can throw it. Ah, oh, this is a jam too. You gotta be fucking kidding me! Can't even skip this. We'll go ahead and we'll try to have some fun with it, but I can't even get through the rounds yet. So let me let me clean it up. Let me try to just polish the feed ramp. Let me try to modify it a little bit. Uh, modify. Let me make it run right, and then let's have some fun with it. But uh, <laughs> shit. All right, break yourself, fool.
it actually went through all. <laughs> all right, so yes, but proper form, proper form. Proper form. That's crazy because it only shoots sideways. If I shoot horizontal, I get malfunctions. They know what they're doing. I have, I have a, I'm certified RSO with the NRA. That doesn't mean absolutely crap to a lot of people. I get that. But I got to tell you, oh, got bugs already on this. These things feel dangerous. Just holding them, they don't work right. Nothing. I don't. So let's do some dual yeet cannons, bro. You ready? I'm ready. Break yourself, fool. All right. Well, this one succeeded. This, on the other hand, fell apart. And I don't even know if there's another one in there. I'm going to put this down. All right, there's nothing in it. I don't know you. That's my purse. See, it jams. What the fuck? That one doesn't. Now they both jammed. This one has one jammed in the actual, you could see it here, it's jammed inside. And then this one, I can't get. This just didn't lock back and then it got stuck. So this one's fine, there's nothing in it. Um, but the mag got stuck. This, uh, you just have one stuck in the other round. I can't, you cannot shoot these in a normal pattern. Shooting sideways, these, it's almost like they're built for these it. These things are just fucking dangerous. And uh, I don't, you don't hear me say that often because I, I do some sketchy shit. But these are fucking dangerous and I don't recommend them for anybody. If you have a collection, you're like, this is a bad gun. This should be in it. I, uh, you know, uh, Dustin, Dustin brought this up. The reason why they put the sticker here is just so, you know, you don't get your fingerprints on it. They know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, Yeet Cannon, is it worth the buy? It's great as a gift for your enemies. Let's put it that way. I go ahead and I, I shoot a lot of weapons. I've worked with a manufacturer. I was, you know, building for a manufacturer and whatnot. And we've done some sketchy stuff and we've built some guns that have once in a while had little malfunctions that we, you know, test fire and find out. This was not the case. This jammed up every third round. We had to drench in oil to get it to run. Once we got it running, for some odd reason, it shot really well sideways. I, I, I We made a joke about it because, you know, proper form, um, but it actually shot better sideways. With that being said, this triggers absolute garbage. I think Nerf makes a better weapon than High Point at this point. Um, we had, and I, I, in the video you'll see if you go back and watch, there was a point where as I let off the trigger, it acted like a binary and that it shot and released the action, I guess, shot when I released the trigger. That has got to be the most dangerous thing for anyone if you're going to get into guns and buy guns, is a malfunctioning weapon. I am not going to worry about sending this back to high point. I didn't buy it to be accurate. High Point is not a brand that you buy. If you buy High Point, you will jeopardize your life one way or another. I don't care what they have to say about it. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. We bought this as pure for funds and whatnot. And with that, we are going to give this away. Um, I almost feel like it's too dangerous to give away, but I feel like someone out there is going to appreciate this within their collection because you could go ahead and put it up next to your FN 57 MRD. I don't, you know, I, I don't, I don't care, but let's go ahead and we'll give this away. So we'll go ahead and we'll give it 90 days. So about video by the time it hits, it'll be about mid December. So call it, you know, something about you know, an early Christmas present. We'll go ahead and we'll raffle this away. The easiest way to you know be in the raffle, you just have to follow this channel and also like our Instagram. That's it. You just have to make sure to be on both because when we choose a name from our Instagram, then we go ahead and we'll verify that they are also viewing and a subscriber to our channel. Super simple stuff. But getting back to the gun, I wouldn't recommend you even throwing this at somebody. Um, you know, the whole saying is guns don't kill people, but holy crap, this, I feel like this, uh, uh shooting this felt so sketchy and, um, 
yeah, it's just, it's heavy. The weight on this thing is just so, so heavy. It's cool. You got the threaded barrel, you know, in case you want to put a suppressor on it, but a suppressor is going to cost you about five times the amount of what this gun costs. And I mean, it, it's just, I, I think with steel tech and Legos, I can make a better weapon. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. I'll keep all the little, you know, hoot and holler normal stuff on here. We're not going to make too many modifications to it. But uh, let's go ahead and in the comments below, if you want to see a certain mod to this bad boy for the giveaway, go ahead and definitely drop it in the comments. Uh, also, make sure to you know, subscribe to the page because that's how you enter in to possibly win the Yeet Cannon YC9 from <laughs> High Point. Um, it's, it's definitely something to have as a, 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 you know, do it for the lulls, you know, do it, do it for the, the interwebs. But dear God, don't use this for whatever you do just don't use this don't take it to the range don't try to use it as an edc or everyday carry win this right just win it and put it up on your wall and if you're in a restriction state for you know certain rounds whatever this is going got eight plus one so this will work for you um, that's not a guarantee you know you might live in a place that you know if you live in cook county or something like that you're completely fucked move out of there. Dear God, one of the worst weapons, but funniest things that has come out of the gun industry just from trolling. Um, but you know, anyways, we'll get more into it. Make sure to go ahead and also hit us up on Instagram and follow. Cause that's also how you enter in for this. And, uh, yeah, I hope to dear God, I, I'm not going to hope. I promise you, I will bring you better weapons. I just wanted to touch base on the yeet cannon. It, uh, just happened so that uh, me and a buddy both bought yeet cannons at the same time and they were almost impossible to find. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you, you had a good laugh with us. We put ourselves in complete danger for you, but hey, you know, that's the whole point. So until next time.